What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zay, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. So today I'm gonna be talking about what. So today I'm gonna be talking about the process I went through to get monetized and how much money I make on YouTube right now. If you're just like me when I was watching these type of videos when I just started my channel, and you're really motivated right now, and you're trying to like make money as soon as possible, you're trying to get rich off of YouTube, you got all these ideas. I'm about to break you the bad news real quick. It's not gonna come overnight. You know what I'm saying? I started my YouTube channel in like 2018. I started off making little skits and like little like dumb videos like I didn't really want to blow up. But then I started making wave videos where I was trying to get waves in my hair. And that kind of like, you know what I'm saying, built my channel up. And I just got a lot of exposure and I got a lot of views. But then that era came to an end. And then I just started making whatever videos I could make. Right now I have 1,500 subscribers. And I got like 385,000 views on YouTube like total. So let's just talk about what you need to get monetized. You need 4,000 hours of watch time. That means all the time that people watch your videos combined needs to be 4,000. You need to have that in one year. And... Please try to get it within a year because if you go over a year, it makes it really hard. I don't know if anybody else went through that, but I was stuck at 2,500 um, hours for like two years because I really wasn't making them get that good videos. But yeah, and you need to have a dozen subscribers. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to come overnight because those watch hours are really hard to get when you're starting off. And I was like, this is going to take forever. And it really did. It happened like three or four years later. No, I think it was like three and a half years later. Yeah, after a long time. Uh, I finally was like, I hit it, and then I applied for monetization. Like, you're not gonna automatically be monetized. I had to apply for it, then I had to go like into a review, tax information, I had to make sure that it was my parents because I'm young, then I gotta put my credit card information. So after you put all your information in like that, it's gonna review it, and it, it could take like a month to review it. Then after you review it and you get it approved, uh, it's gonna send you a pin in the mail, and it's gonna come in looking like this. And it's gonna take uh, two to four weeks. Some people don't even get it, so they have to apply for it again. It's just a big mess, you know. That's why I'm saying it's not gonna happen overnight. Like it's not gonna happen really fast. So like the key to getting monetized is literally patience. And then once that pin comes in and you type it into wherever you need to type it into, that's another thing I didn't mention. You need to sign up for Google AdSense, and that's pretty much the thing where you get to put your tax information in. It's just the main part of this is Google AdSense. After you um, type your pin in and you submit it. It's gonna send you like eight cents to your bank and it could take up to like four days and you're gonna have to wait and then it's gonna you have to type it in how much it sent like 0 0.08 and then they'll take it out and then you're finally good. So I'm so I'm saying uh, I got monetized like four months ago and like I think like two weeks ago I just finally got this. I put the amount of money that it sent me in. You gotta really want this to succeed, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm sorry if I killed your dreams right now, just don't be discouraged. These four years went by fast. And you could literally change your whole life with this, bro. And then there's another thing. Once you get all this finished, you have, in order for the money to hit your bank account, you need to make sure you get over $100 each month. So if you get like $89 one month, you know I'm saying, you won't get it. I'm not too sure if it keeps it for you on there. And all you have to do is make $11 the next month to get it. I'm not sure if that's the case, so don't quote me on that. All right, so my video with almost 76,000 views since I got monetized has made $7. And I know you're like, what, bro? Like, what? It's because that video wasn't very long and, uh, you know what I'm saying? It really didn't make that much money because of how long it was. The audience retention wasn't really that long. But my video was 61,000 views and I'm pretty sure it was over 10 minutes. It has $62.79 since I got monetized, which is not bad at all. That's actually a lot of money for a video, you feel me, when you first start off. Surprisingly, my third highest video has made $80.08 .08, and that's just because it was more interesting and people stuck around more and watched the ads, you feel me? But yeah, it's all part of a grind and how interesting you are and it's a big process, but if you stick to it, it's gonna fly by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching it. If you really mess with my vibe, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, we're almost at 2K. Like I said, we're doing a giveaway when I get there, so make sure you subscribe and stick around. I was good, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I was getting some clothes from my house. And I'm just chilling in the car, so I was like, why not talk to y'all? You can see in my voice, I sound a little sick, but that's because I'm just recovering from getting sick, you feel me? Because we were all sick the past couple days, but like my mom got a test and it came back negative, so it was just a little cold. But what happened was, on New Year's Eve, I had to get tested because I felt symptoms and I was around, I was exposed, you feel me? So I had a quarantine for three days, and after I got that test, I was like, finally. And then like a couple of days later, I get sick again. I'm like, bruh. So it's just been a big old mess, you feel me? I've been wanting to get more videos out, you know what I'm saying, and make some better content. But I, like I said, I've just been sick the past couple days. Let me know some suggestions in the comments. Um, I really want to switch up my content and like actually put in some work on these videos. So like, if you if you really rock with me, you know what I'm saying, just 
comment down the top left your favorite videos that you like watching. It doesn't matter if it's cat videos or if it's challenges, you feel me? Just comment down below what videos you like watching. But yeah, so I quit my job, so you know what I'm saying? All I pretty much have to do is school work and then I can free to forever. I'm just good to make YouTube videos. And basically, I'm just trying to stay on the grind for eight months straight, you know what I'm saying? Like just go hard for eight months so I could live comfortably when I'm 18, you feel me? So yo, another big thing I wanted to talk to y'all about is I wanted to change my name but bro like wavy the first part of my name wavy is like kind of what built my channel at first because i used to make wave videos if you guys didn't know and that kind of like like you know what i'm saying pushed my channel up it gave me a boost but now i kind of want to change my name is because like i kind of grown up when i first made wavy zay i was like 14 and i'm about to be 18 so just turn on your post notifications in case i do change my name and in case it's harder to find me uh i want to go at like a more mature approach at it i don't want to be wavy gang and wavy zay you know more you know what I'm saying that's just not me you know more all right y'all you know what i'm saying it's a couple hours later and a couple areas later that we had to run so yeah um i'm about to cash my check uh i'm gonna go get it and then we're gonna go to the mall cash out emma said she wants to get me food for valentine's day but i don't know how she's gonna get it when i'm there with her so yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know what I'm trying to buy because I really want to buy a camera. Actually, right, we finally got here. It took like 30 minutes to go get, um, catch our checks and all that. But yeah, we finally got here. We're all tired and slumped. So, but like I said, we're still going to try to record for y'all. So beautiful, huh? But y'all, you know, in the comments. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We just came out the mall. I didn't really record in there because there wasn't really much to record about us walking around. Emma's mad at me right now because we couldn't get potato corn. But she bought me this for Valentine's Day, which is too soon, but she got it for me. The shoes, the girl started pulling out all kinds of ones. I was like, Emma, if you spend that much money on me, I'm gonna smack. All right, so I just got it on, but it's clean as you could tell. Shout out to Emma. I said, I appreciate you a lot. Bam. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm saying? We're just waiting. Um, I couldn't get a buffalo chicken ranch sandwich. So she gonna get a Cajun pasta. Some wings. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's cool here. Customer service is cool. So tell me why. You I was ranting. Not really. I think it's just crazy how like back in the days everything used to be different. Like it all used to be. It used to be dirt and like, I don't know. <laughs> she, she <hit> the <laughs> it used to be just like you know they didn't have much that we do now basically like they didn't have phones they didn't have cars like we do i changed my news thing i get distracted easy i just i think it's crazy you know um i cut my hair and i got bangs but i really hate the bangs because like i don't know what she did she didn't do what i wanted her to do and I'm awkward. And here's Xavier. You know what I'm saying? I'll just give him. Yeah. Wings with the chicken strips, huh? Yeah. 